So here's my thinking. Um, if we believe that uh, we learn by adding to our prior knowledge, and um, if we agree with Stephen Johnson in his great book, Where Good Ideas Come From, that new ideas are just old ideas that new ideas collide with to create good ideas, then presumably it ought to be true that my best idea ought to be my latest idea, in theory. So this is uh, 35 years of school leadership distilled into 11.03.21 seconds, um, which is really no problem whatsoever, I have to tell you. Um, this is the idea, that idea. The idea that we can transform education by making learning drive everything we do. So this is the audience participation bit. It's quick, so blink and you'll miss it. Um, Stand up if you believe the following statement. Everything we do in schools should have the primary purpose of improving learning. Stand up if you believe that. Okay. Remain standing if you uh, believe this statement. The organization I work for has defined learning in such clear and common and practical ways that those definitions of learning drive every big decision we make. Stand up if you can believe. All right, interesting. Sit down, Heidi. <laughs> I can see you, and I know you're lying. <laughs> so, but here's a weird thought. We talk about learning all the time. We've never defined it. Really simple question. How the hell can we make something happen if we don't know what it is? So, here's the thinking. We should define everything around learning. The scary thing in that is it's such a big task that we suffer from this disease, the paralysis of enormity. So I was thinking about what to do about that, and I thought if we chunked it out, we could make it manageable. What if we defined it first, then designed the learning, then worked out how to deliver it, and then how kids would demonstrate it? So what about defining it? Here's the latest theory. This is part of the idea that everything will be driven by learning. We think, the people that I work with, that people learn conceptually when they form hypotheses, when they connect new knowledge to what they've learned already, construct and deconstruct their own theory of what's happening, come up with that aha moment. It's kind of, I thought it was like this, but now I learned this, so I don't know what I think now. What if it's more like this? Let me test that. Okay, it's more like this. I understood something better. That's conceptual learning. But not all learning is conceptual. Sometimes we're practicing the violin or practicing taking a corner at football. And I think that's about competency, which is about looking at what experts do, deconstructing that together, looking at what I do and comparing it, and then practicing to close the gap. So two kinds of learning going on, conceptual learning, competency learning. But we're international educators, and it's not just about what people understand or are able to do. It's about who we are as people. So maybe the most important learning is this one. It's when we build kids' character. We look at situations that are difficult and complex. We put them in those situations. We're going to be hearing about service and all sorts of projects like this later on. And they think about what it would be like to behave in different ways, and then they behave in those ways, and then they reflect on that and we're building their capacity as people. So three kinds of learning, all beginning with C, because I can only remember things that are alliterative. Um, and they're not operating separately. What they're doing is operating together all the time as we build conceptual learning, we're learning skills, and hopefully our dispositions and values, our character are growing. So think about it not as a blurb from an old guy on a stage, but as a story or a metaphor or a picture three things operating together, I think it looks like this. So that is the triple helix that we talk about in some new work we've been doing over the last few years to create a really, really different innovative approach to international curriculum that's called the Common Ground Curriculum. Um, it's built on simplicity and it's built on that triple helix because I tell you what, people can remember that and they don't remember theses about what learning is. 
So that's the DNA of this new approach. But let's talk about designing the thing. If that's the DNA, and we think of it as the DNA, every DNA, just as in biology, needs a body in which to live, a body that can be shaped and driven by DNA just like we are. But here's a question. What's the body of knowledge for the kids you teach? The question we asked in my own school was, 1,550 kids, 70 nationalities, whose history do we teach? That great challenge for international education can be extrapolated to whose story do we tell, whose science do we look at. We had to solve that problem because we needed a body for the DNA to live in. And what we said was, why don't we deal with the body of learning that's common to all people? For example, one thing we all do is send messages to each other in different languages, using different media, in different genre for different purposes. Oops. I screwed up my minutes. We all have a voice something to say that is worth listening to. We all send messages. Around the room. Around the world. We interpret those messages. Looking for meaning. We speak and write in different languages for different reasons, for different audiences. We're we are masters, masters of new, new media, media, creating, creating platforms, platforms on which to hear and, and to be heard. heard. We are communicators. We think it's a powerful idea, the best idea I ever had. Take a DNA of three kinds of learning, embed it in a body of knowledge that's common to all people using eight human commonalities. So the complete model looks more like this. Because we all send messages to each other. We all need physical well-being. We need to think about sustainable production and consumption, connections to our environments, being in groups, working out how things work, and exploring our creative expression. So that's the idea. You define and design learning. You make learning simple. You give us definitions that we can work on in classrooms. And you embed those definitions in a body of knowledge that's relevant to all the kids we teach. And in the end, it sounds like this. I really like the elementary school. I think it's a very fun place. In elementary school, you're really trusted to do things on your own. You have a lot of freedom. It's independent. I like being able to work things out that I don't know yet and having more knowledge. We have to um, set ourselves some goals. And some are really hard, and then you have to work hard to achieve them. It's necessary so I can become a better person to push yourself. Everyone has their strengths and weaknesses, so it's really different for everyone what's challenging. I like the fact that we have drama, play more instruments. We have to use computers, you can get some programs that you can't get on paper. And it's really fun, but education. The library is big, there's so many books. In class usually we go in groups like in maths, because then you can work together and you have more, more brains. More ideas, more thinking, you have more 
you just have more. Teachers are pretty kind. They're fun, they're creative, they laugh with us. They are patient with what you need help with. It doesn't matter how much time it takes. If you're not good at something, they don't say that you're not allowed to do it. They'll say that you can do it more and more so you can become better at it. Everyone gets included in everything. You can go up to almost anyone and say, can I play with you? And they will always say yes. Everyone in all together. People from different religions, people from different countries. We work as one. Basically, we all work together. Being successful isn't all about getting the answer. It's more about figuring the problem out. And I think of successful, I think of like achieving something. I've gotten better with my artwork. I've also uh, learned to um, contribute, to share ideas and to take in ideas. I just like this school because it teaches you how to be a good person and it, it helps you find your personality. That's it, thanks.